medication that is being called the heroin vaccine. One shot, and a patient cannot get high from heroin or other opiates for a month. A local doctor calls it a possible silver bullet solution to opiate addiction. In a two on your side investigation, Steve Brown examines the promise of Vivitrol. Audrey Harrison is among the happiest college students you will find. Today, my life is beyond my wildest dreams. This 18-year-old from Batavia today has hope. She also has almost 17 months sober from heroin addiction. I can relate when somebody says, like, I just can't get sober, I just can't. Because it's a hard thing. But it's possible. Possible, says Audrey, with the help of a prescription drug, Vivitrol. And I think for any heroin addict or opiate addict or alcoholic that's in recovery, that wants to stay sober, I think it should be a necessity in their recovery. Her doctor is also a Vivitrol fan. We have what, in my view, may be uh, the silver bullet for, um, for opiate addiction. Vivitrol is FDA approved to treat opiate addictions, including heroin and alcoholism. It is a once a month injection that works by blocking the brain's opiate receptors, preventing the user from getting high. If you're on Vivitrol um, and you were to try to get high, uh, what happens is, is that you feel no effect whatsoever. Dr. Finber says other medications have their drawbacks, especially for addicts age 25 and younger. There is methadone. It's been around, used for treatment for decades. But standardly, the wait to get into a methadone treatment clinic in western New York, three to six months. There's also a wait to get into Suboxone treatment. And it is a medication that can be abused. A patient can actually get high on it. That brings us to Vivitrol. Now, it has a significant drawback, and that's the price. It can cost $1,100 for a single dose, in some cases, higher than that. Typically, out-of-pocket expenses closer to $1,400. And typically, patients on Vivitrol are on it for a year, pushing the total cost to nearly $17,000, money Audrey's parents did not have. Very expensive and hard to get. Just can't go to your local pharmacy and pick it up. I had to have a little bit of a battle with the insurance company and I had the parents actually fight on behalf of their child to get the insurance company to cover it. A lot of phone calls. And letters. And a letter. My words were you tell the insurance company that uh, you're gonna be held responsible if my child dies of an overdose after getting out of treatment because you're not paying for Vivitrol. How'd that work? Uh, we had uh, an approval within a week. For Audrey, Vivitrol was a safety net, protecting her from relapse. You have that 30 days where you're safe, and and you never know what's going to happen in 30 days. Like, your you mind... You could have a bad day. Yeah, or your mind could change completely in 30 days, and you could start wanting sobriety even more. That's what happened for Audrey. The last of her 12 Vivitrol injections was over a month ago, meaning she is staying sober now on her own. I've got me self-worth, self-respect, self-esteem, and I'm happy. I'm the person who I've always wanted to be. Now, to start using Vivitrol, an addict must be completely clean of all opiates. That's a significant hurdle. Alchemies, the company that makes Vivitrol, says it is intended to be used in a treatment program that includes counseling. There is not a huge body of research on Vivitrol, but Dr. Finber believes, based on what he's seen, Scott Mary Ellison, mm. that the drug has great Wow. So like if that. the drug is this kind of potential, why isn't every addict being treated with it? The price is a hurdle. Um, area insurance companies, I'm told, are coming around to it, Medicaid coming around to paying for it, but in other areas of the country, not so much. It's more of a battle, as we've heard with Audrey's situation right but there. When you compare it to the other costs, I mean, not just the human costs, but rehabs are expensive. Rehab is expensive. Getting back, uh, getting a detox is expensive if you can find it. Um, all sorts of other medical complications that are much more expensive over the course of a long period of time than a year's worth of Vivitrol. It's interesting that that threat, the implied threat, got them a result within a week. It certainly did, uh, did the job. It did the trick for them. That's encouraging. Great report. Thank Thanks, Steve.